Okay, video number three. We're almost, almost done for this week. So as promised, we're going to do one step inequalities. I think I should get a bigger marker because I don't know if this marker is big enough for being able to see. Um, I have these tiny little markers and I just don't feel they are getting the job done. So let me see what kind of markers I brought home here. And then, yeah, we'll try these two. I think these two work out pretty well. Sorry, this is just my supply closet. Yes, I have a supply closet at home because I'm a nerd. All right, so the first problem we're going to do. Oh, it's one of the smelly ones. I forgot I had these scented ones. They're so smelly. We're going to do X plus 2 is less than 4. So one of the things I want you to remember is when you are doing a one-step inequality, it is the same thing as if you were doing a one-step um, equation. It's no, the, the steps are still the same. You are still adding or subtracting, multiplying. You're still doing the inverse, okay? That does not change. There is something that is going to change. However, I will get into that after, um, I'll explain that after we do the ones that are just kind of like the normal straightforward ones. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do the inverse. I'm gonna subtract two from both sides. Those cancel, I get X less than four. So then what I would do is I would go up here to my number line and I'm gonna use this color here. And I would plot, you're gonna plot it open. So we have X is greater than two. Find two. Remember it's open and it's any number that is gonna go this way, this direction here. Okay, X is greater than two. Did I say less than before? I'm sorry y'all, X is greater than two. I just realized I may have said it. All right, so let's look at another example. Let's do, I'm gonna do a subtraction one. F minus five is less than or equal to two. Don't ask me why I put that so far down, that's weird. <laughs> All right, so what are we gonna do first? I'm still gonna do the inverse of my um, constant. I'm still gonna add five because they zero that uh, allows it to zero out. Keep the sign the way I see it. F is uh, less than or equal to seven. So then I'm gonna go to seven and I'm going to fill it in. Remember that equal to means that you need to fill it in. You need to fill it in. And then what did I say? It's less than, correct? Less than means everything on this side of the number line. Everything on that side of the number line. All the way down, forever. To infinity and beyond. Do you see the difference? My open means it's not included. My closed means it's included. Now I'm going to show you one that has to include a negative number. Well, let's do, mm, I wanna show you the negative, I'll show you the negative numbers and the positive numbers too, because it's it's still, the, the process is still the same. So let's do one that does not have a negative number first. We'll do R, let me separate these. We'll do R 
divided by two is greater than or equal to four. All right, order of operation, not order of operation, I'm sorry. Inverse operations says that I need to multiply both sides by two. Those equal out to one. R is still going to be greater than or equal to eight. Move this up. And we're gonna look, I'm gonna do a different one. Color. So I'm gonna look for eight and I'm gonna fill it in. And I said it's going to be anything that is eight or greater. So that means my line goes that way. I know I'm moving kind of fast, but one step equations is something that you should already be able to do. So it's not something that I'm going to spend a large amount of time on because at this point we've already done um, one step equations for a good amount of time. So we have four H is less than 20. That was a nice little spin. Divide both sides by four. H is less than 20. Then I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna plot my point. What else, what? I'm sorry, <laughs> and then five. Y'all, let's see a stripper. H is less than five. So I'm gonna go here to five and I'm gonna keep my circle open. And then I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna indicate anything from here on out is what the possible answers can be. Let me show you what it's gonna look like if you have to have a negative number. When you have a negative number that you are multiplying or dividing by. Now, this is only, only, only for multiplying and dividing, a negative number, only, okay? If I have negative 5x is less than 20, you're going to solve it the same way you would solve anything else. We're not gonna solve it any different. The solving is still going to be the same. I'm just gonna move this up so you can see it. The solving is the same. I'm gonna show you what's gonna to have to change. I'm still going to divide both sides by my coefficient. And this time I need to make sure I have my negative, take the negative with it. Remember the negative stays with that coefficient. It stays with it, do not separate it. When you divide by a negative coefficient, when you are doing inequalities, you need to flip the sign. So this needs to change. Where's my, here's a black marker. Your inequality sign has to change. It has to be the opposite. Let me say that again. When you are dividing and multiplying, actually, by a negative number, you have to switch your sign. This has to change. Okay? So I went from a less than to a greater than. You have to go from a less than to a greater than. And then you keep your negative sign, if you have to, based on the law of negatives, okay? Let's see if we had to multiply. So I have x divided by a negative four. Actually, you know what? Yeah, is greater than or equal to 
uh, let's say, let's say two. Yeah, let's say two. Greater than or equal to two. I'm still going to multiply both sides by a negative four. I have to do the opposite sign. So I cannot do my greater than. I have to do a less than or equal to. And then you multiply. So I went from my greater than equal to to less than equal to because of this negative number, because of this negative sign. Okay? That is the rule when you are multiplying and dividing by a negative number. That is going to be at the bottom of the notes that I have for the other one. You'll see that on the bottom. So that is it for our one-step equation inequalities and how to put um to plot the answer. So you're plotting the answer, not the actual equation, or I'm sorry, inequality. You are plotting the answer. If you have any questions, make sure you ask, and I'll see you in the next video.